Hi, I'm Ross Quintana with Social Magnets, and today we're talking about market segmentation and the destruction of conversions. Okay, so real briefly, you know, market segmentation is really just taking your market and then dividing it into smaller groups based on on traits, and and its real purpose is so that you could target your market a little bit better. And hopefully, if you're targeting your market better, you're going to get more conversions. You know, when we look at the traditional sales funnel model, you know, it starts and it creates a mindset that when you mix it with um, with the kind of subtle desire in business for more, right? I want more. It's, uh, you know, we want more sales. So when people, you ask them, well, what's your target market? The problem is, is they're like, you know, you ask a real estate, hey, what's your target market? Uh, everybody. Everybody might buy a home from me, right? The enthusiasm is so bubbled up that they're like, okay, my, my target market is everybody because I want to sell to everybody. You know, and the problem with that is that, number one, you're not going to sell to everybody. And in a business sense, uh, it makes somebody who understands business kind of take a step back and go, okay, this person doesn't understand how marketing works. So if you're going to invest or partner with that person, you're going to be a little bit nervous because you're like, wow, if they're that naive that they don't get that that's not a, a smart way to do business, why would I give them my money? You know, I was watching Shark Tank the other day and they had a gal on there and she was all enthusiastic and passionate about her product and oh she's you know gonna change the world and all that but when the sharks asked her the question about her sales um, she she replied about how great the business was gonna be and how everybody needed her product and and you know that's a problem is it's great for you to be enthusiastic but that's not a business when they're investing they're investing in what do you actually have how many locations do you have how many customers do you have what type of inventory do you have? Anything pr proprietary? Um, you know, w what, what are we actually investing in? And people can be in their own business and be in the same situation. Entrepreneurs can be in the same situation. Consultants, freelancers, doesn't matter. The more you understand your target market, it changes everything. Because the way people get business right now is they've got this idea of this funnel. And their idea is, how can I get more people in the funnel? And the problem is, is that I'd rather get the right people in the funnel because if you put the right people, they convert differently. All numbers are not the same. A thousand prospects isn't the same. So if there's, in the example of the real estate agent, a thousand people that you take off the street, how many of them would buy a home from you? Well, automatically, most of them might already have a home and they're not interested in buying a home. So a massive amount of that thousand dollars, what you're selling them is not relevant to them. Right, and then and then you break it down smaller. Okay, how many of them are ready to buy right now if they are looking for a home? How many of them out of that can actually buy? And they've talked to a lender. There's a lot of people who say, oh, I want to buy a home. They can't afford it. They don't even have a, a, a loan. They can't get the loan. So they're not your target market. So what you see is that big market starts to get sliced down, sliver, 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 to actually who's in your target market. And then what traditionally happens with marketing is they try and apply tactics and, and strategies. And, oh, if I'm a good salesperson, we'll get our best salesperson on this one and we'll convert them. That's a very inefficient way to convert sales. I'd rather get my best analyst researching our target market and not just looking for our target market, but who's our premium buyer? Who, if we showed them our product, would pull out their checkbook and, and no matter how good the salesperson is, who wants, needs, and can afford our product and has been looking for a product such as ours, right, um, to solve all of their issues. That is a premium grade A buyer. And those are the type of people where if you think about targeting, people spend very little time on research. I, I, I draw the example out of an iceberg because you just see the little tip up there. But the bulk of it, right, is underneath the water. Well, it's the same way. People put a tiny little bit into thinking and strategizing and researching their target market because they think they already know who it is. And then they spend all their time on tactics and marketing and how do we get, how do we talk to, how do we get another 1,000 impressions and, and 10,000 impressions and so that we can convert at this low rate. When in reality, if you flip that over and you do more research and more targeting, you'll need less inputs. That helps your business be more agile. It insulates you against competition because as competition increases, then 
getting these large number of prospects targeted becomes harder. So if you can con convert 10 sales instead of 1,000 prospects into 10 sales, if you could do that with 100, you're going to survive in a competitive market better. If you can do that with 20, you're, you're converting at 50%, you're going to survive in a competitive market. So don't just plan on, oh, I can get more, because getting more costs more money, takes more time, and the more competition you have, the less there is to get. So if that's your strategy, in the future, you're going to be suffering. Better to focus on market segmentation, because when you do that, you open up actually more of your market, you find your market, it forces you to source your market in a better way so that you're talking to the right people, those sales are gonna happen. So if you like this video, bam, smash up on that like button and share it, subscribe to us if you're not already, and uh, check out the blog post that's gonna go with this. There'll be a link if you're on YouTube down in the description. It's also gonna be embedded in the video, so I get to kind of dig in a little bit more if you um, have checked out the blog post. So go out there, I challenge you to look at your business, look at your current customers, find ways where you can narrow your search, shrink what you perceive, your perceived market, and get it to the really premium um, market so that you're gonna see that your business is gonna grow a lot faster with a lot less effort. So till next time, I will see you later.